it's not just that Mickey Quinn can't stop scoring, he's getting some real belters too. He smashed that one in with total confidence just three minutes gone. But Bournemouth's Paul Molden had goal-scoring ideas of his own. Midway through the first half, Paul Miller's effort, and Molden is on hand just to make sure. Then in 65 minutes, Molden decided the points. His direct running has Andy Thorne not knowing which way to turn. Then, with Tommy Wright off his line, he finds the net as neat as you like. 2-1 to Bournemouth. Well, if defeat wasn't bad enough, even more disturbing. Another early breakthrough. What more could a team want? The chances begin to flow. But then, another crazy goal. Robbie Musto's header gets a double deflection, and Ray Ransom now is on the score sheet. Then, five minutes from time, it's all thrown away again. The ball presented to David Penny. He's on a run, another deflection, and Musto sticks the ball away between the keeper's legs. Oxford can't believe it, nor Jim Smith. Both games should have been won, and won handsomely. Uh, but we, we know the, we haven't put the ball away when we should have done. The keepers have had very good games. Uh, posts and cleared up the line uh, made it difficult for us. But the, the one that we've got to obviously rectify is the, the problem of letting a goal in, so, not as soon as we go in front, but invariably we go in front and we have a 10-minute spell where it, it, we, we're at sixes and sevens and it nearly always costs us. United's attacking midfield formation may contribute